this point in time, actually, I'd like to invite one of our most important partners to the stage, and that's Adobe. So please welcome Adobe's Danny Winokur to say a few words about their great products and our partnership together. Thanks, Alec. Thank you. Do you want the clicker? Oh, sure. I'll <laughs> do that. Good. Thanks. You so, can be in control. All right. I like that. I like to be in control. Good. So thanks for having us. As you know, we've had a fantastic partnership over the past couple of years, especially as you guys brought the playbook to market. We created together through our partnership the best implementation of Flash Player and Adobe Air working on a tablet device. And we have tons of fantastic work that's been done by the community to take advantage of those technologies. But I'm also really excited with what you've been talking about here this morning around HTML5. Right? Mm -hmm. You guys have done some amazing work. We saw George up here earlier with the work that's been done with Torch and the web engine that you've got there now taking full advantage of HTML5. You mentioned Adobe and the work that's been done with PhoneGap. And as I think you may know, we announced recently Adobe's intent yeah. to acquire PhoneGap. And Fabulous. so Fabulous. we're tremendously excited about that and the ability that we have now with our world-class HTML5 developer tools, tools like Dreamweaver, and a new tool that we're bringing to market called Adobe Edge that allows really rich motion animation and design to now be able to target the playbook for both the direct Torch engine or if people want to actually package with PhoneGap and be able to deploy, that's going to be a fully integrated yeah, experience yeah. for delivering HTML5. I think, I think it's fabulous to have, you know, everybody understands the quality of Adobe tools, and to have them target HTML5 on playbook is an amazing thing. Yeah, so we're, we're super excited about that. And so what it means for the developer community is that you're going to have world-class Adobe tooling that can target two different technology platforms on the playbook. You'll be able to do the HTML5 environment using PhoneGap and the Torch engine, or you'll be able to write in Flash, package with Air, and reach the native Air implementation with native extensions and the rich capabilities that are there already on the playbook. So we're, we're very excited about what that enables. Um, we already, as I think you know, have thousands of applications that have been implemented using both of those technologies that are in BlackBerry App World. Yep, yep. Some um, of the best, one, best known ones there as well. That's exactly right. So we're, we're, we're certainly very excited about that. Um, there are already over 4,000 Flash-based applications that are out there um, packaged with Adobe Air, including some, like you said, of the most popular and most sophisticated apps that are out there. So we have apps like the Facebook application. The native Facebook application is built actually entirely in Flash as an Air application. The Evernote application, another one built entirely in Flash. Yeah, fantastic <laughs> application. Um, when you look at rich media, it's a really a strong area for Flash in particular. So we, we have the Epix HD application for watching high definition movies with your family, plug in that HDMI cable, go on the big screen, go. and off it goes in, in full HD hardware accelerated Flash video. And then of course gaming is another area where we have a tremendous strength with Flash. And we'll show you a couple examples there in a minute, but they're very popular games like Comb Over Charlie, Pyramix, um, Assembler Mobile, um, Doodle Blast and, and a variety of other games. That Doodle Blast really... was a huge hit on the yeah, platform when it huge, came out. Yeah, yeah. huge. So some, some of the most popular ones um, out there. So um, that's all very exciting. But you know what? We're not stopping there. We've actually got some really new and exciting things that are coming. We just released last week Flash Player 11 and Air 3, which are the next major version upgrades of both of those technologies. They're going to be, of course, both coming to the playbook and will be available as part of the BBX beta that is now going to be available for people's playbooks, yep. I believe, starting today, if I understand yeah. correctly. Yeah, actually, we're re releasing a, uh, a developer release of the, uh, it's called Playbook OS 2.0 at this point. But OK, there you go. Not quite BBX. All right. BBX is I'm still coming. I'm confused on the timing of yeah, the Yeah, that's there. OK. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you'll, you know, uh, you've heard uh, that you can go out there and get um, uh, a playbook as part of your uh, admission ticket to the event. And you can choose, actually, to have that developer release installed directly on the playbook. It's your choice. Exactly. And if you do have that on there, you'll get this new version of Flash Player 11 and Air 3 included as part of that beta, so you'll be able to start experimenting with it right away. And what's significant about this release is that it adds additional capabilities for really rich, high-definition cinema quality media, including protected capabilities for video publishers who care about long-form content. They want to have protection so there's no piracy. That's now fully supported cool. in the same way that it is on the web, on de people's desktop computers. And then, of course, we have other capabilities for gaming, which enable even richer gameplay possibilities, including a preview release of what we call Stage 3D, which is a hardware accelerated gaming framework and acceleration framework. So we're, we're super excited. We can maybe show you yeah, a couple, let's go see yeah, some of these. couple examples here. Let me take the Mac down here. OK, let's get this guy Oops. turned on. There we go. Perfect. Is that showing up there? There we go. 
Okay, so um, this first one is targeting the existing version of Air that is already built natively into the release uh, operating system on the playbook. This is a game, Machinarium, that some people may have seen. It's been in the news quite a bit lately. It's a beautiful, rich, immersive game built entirely in Flash. And what's interesting about this game, and I think illustrates some of the power of the platform for, for the developer community, is that this game was built initially completely in Flash on the, on the web, targeting desktop right. users playing right. in their browsers. And the studio that designed this game realized that they could get a tremendous amount of leverage from that investment by simply repackaging that Flash-based game as an Air application. They first, of course, saw the iPad out there. They went and did that for the iPad, and it became the number one selling app on the, on the iPad. But then they realized that Air has a fantastic implementation on the playbook, and they could then repackage, publish this to the playbook, and get reach to a much you know, a new, do you a new have audience. sense for how long it took them to do that? Yeah, they, they did it really just in a matter of weeks, which is really, really extraordinary if you think about it. This was yeah. a game that has, you know, you can see here, you can start to navigate this guy around. It's got the sort of robot world. And you can go in here, tap this little thing. You can get little puzzles. And then you'll see this little bird will come fly down. And it's just a really beautifully, beautifully done. And you can see smooth. the That's performance. Yeah. yeah, the performance is fantastic. Um, and you have to basically, at each level in this game, solve little puzzles. So you know, you'll see I'll come over here, and this bird's going to follow me over. And then you have to sort of get him to pop off the wire here. So let's see if I can get him to. Oh, the guy's not going now for some reason. I forgot how to play the game. There he goes. <laughs> so anyway, you get the, you get the idea. Um, so that's, My kids say that to me all the time. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My son, too. Yeah. So um, that's, like I said, targeting today's version. What's interesting here is another game. Now, this is using the preview release that I mentioned that has support for that stage 3D technology. Right, so you right. have full hardware accelerated 3D. And you can see here, if you like, you know, I can start to rotate around. And this is a full 3D immersive environment. And what's really powerful in here and people need to appreciate is that if you do this technology, it's the exact same implementation that works across all desktop browsers. Really? Right? So it's the same Flash player that's on the desktop. You've got full 3D support. And you can create a single implementation of the game now that's going to target the universe of the desktop web where we have a billion users. And you can now do the exact same thing on the playbook with this preview release. So you can start developing against that now. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, so we're, we're super excited about that. So um, with that, the, the, there are a couple things that I think would be good for everyone to recognize. One is that you can immediately start developing with Flash Player and Air right now on the playbook. The technologies are already out there. As I mentioned, you can get the new versions with the preview release that's part of the, the beta that you mentioned that, that you can get on your playbook. Um, we have a couple of code camps going on here at the show. Great. So for people who want to understand how to get their tool chain set up, how to target this environment, they yep. can go do that yep. right now. And, and there will be two sessions that are being held um, over the next couple of days. Um, and then we, we have something that we're also uh, really excited about be before we close, which is that we're going to give away to everyone that is attending here at the show a version of the premium development environment for targeting Flash-based Air applications, which is um, Adobe Flash Builder Professional or our premium awesome. edition. So awesome. everyone here at the show. So it's our pleasure. I hope everyone enjoys that. Like I said, it is the premier uh, environment. And that will upgrade automatically. Yeah, that'll upgrade automatically. So there will be a new version that, that comes out later this year um, that will take advantage of the new Flash Player 11 and Air 3 capabilities that are part of this beta. And so when that happens, you'll get that, that free upgrade as well. Cool. So everyone should enjoy that and get to work and start experimenting with the new release and with the new tools and, and do great stuff. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My thank pleasure. you very much. Yeah, take care. Thank you.